One of the questions that's commonly asked is if I can change the number of rows and columns in Grid World at compile time. You know, you can always change it at runtime by going to the menu and changing uh, rows and columns. But uh, if you have a an application you're writing and you want to change it um, beforehand, can you do that? And the answer is yes. This is actually done uh, for the Battle Royale that we do second semester uh, by Alan Morales, uh, class of 2011. And uh, here I'll show you how it works. It's uh, this is your typical runner. And what I have here is I have a main um, method that's going to place eight actors randomly throughout the grid. Uh, this world.add um, method does it for you. It, it adds it randomly, so you don't, you don't need to uh, place them or give them an ex exact location. What's new here is the battle grid um, object that's created. And what the battle grid object is, if I close this and go over here, it creates a bounded grid with a given size for row and column. So here I can change the number of rows and columns at compile time. So right now it's set to 10 by 10, so I'll close this. And I'll run it, and you'll see that I have a 10 by 10 grid. And there are eight actors randomly placed throughout the grid. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And I can run the program, and actors uh, just turn back and forth. Don't do too much, but you can add your own critters in there and whatnot. I'll go back into the grid, and I'll change it to a, I'll go 5 by 10. So I'll compile that and compile the whole thing here, run it, and you'll see now I have a new size grid, uh, rows and columns. I have, looks like I have five columns here and my ten rows. Uh, so you can use this template here. You can download it, use this template here to uh, change the number of rows and columns at compile time. Again, if you have a certain application for your project that requires it, this is what you can do.